Hello guys, and today I'm going to try and get totally sloshed, totally wasted. And you think, what am I talking about? Well, I'm going to eat some biscuits, well, maybe a couple of them. And you'll notice... And we've done this, it says, in association with bay leaves. And bay leaves is an Irish cream, is an Irish cream um, alcoholic drink. Um, I'm not an expert, I might have had it once, I can't remember, you know, on a glass of it, I can't remember, it was so long ago if I did. Um, and basically, it claims that these biscuits are... Butter biscuit with milk chocolate and an Irish cream liquor flavoured cream filling. Now, I don't. On this, it says this product is intended for purchase and enjoyment by people of legal purchase age for alcoholic beverages. Please remember to drink Bailey's responsibly. Now, I don't know why they put in because I cannot could not find anywhere on here any. alcoholic um, percentages maybe it's just me but I just couldn't find it but anyway normally these are just chocolate they normally sell these in chocolate um, orange chocolate and dark chocolate okay and Chuck and Limebnitz is the main brand for this style, okay? And it is basically a German um, food company, okay? And it's sold over here, okay? Now, if I open this up, it might be because these were bought around Christmas time, just after Christmas. And often around Christmas time, they put alcohol into some of the chocolates. And as I said, I've no idea if there actually is any alcohol in this chocolate, but it's supposed to taste like the alcoholic drink. So, okay, I'm going to take one of them out. And yes, when I smell it, it does smell like there's some sort of alcoholic liqueur on it. I'm going to snap it open. That's what it looks like inside. Biscuit on the bottom. And this chocolate on the top. Mm, yes, yeah, this does definitely taste very alcoholic. I think I might have had this before. And something very similar in terms of the drink and it definitely tastes like it oh no i'm actually shocked it just definitely tastes like the drink um, like it also tastes like some of these liqueurs i've had and sometime i have also bought some of the liqueurs which i've uh, got after christmas in in a bargain which is part of a bargain um no just like this but Yes, my mouth is starting to feel a bit strange. Um, like you'll get if you drank alcohol, you know. Mm. What's strange about this, you see, is in the past when I've had with yours, it's been somewhat... It's not been completely solid, so there's been something inside the chocolates which has been, um... You know, like some sort of sticky thing, but not, or even a liquid inside the chocolates in, in themselves. This looks like. Oh, that's interesting. There's something in here that looks a bit sticky. And if I bring it back, it's very hard to see. 
on the on the back of the chocolate it looks like it's something sticky. It's very hard to show, but if you look about there, you can see something sticky just on. So it's got chocolate there, then something sticky, another layer of chocolate on the top. So it's almost like like almost like a toffee thing. So if I've, I've taken quite a bit off there. It, you can't easily tell on this camera, but it's like some sort of sticky type thing. And that I assume is the bay root. So I don't know if I put some concentrated bay root in here or what they've done. But I will admit I'm impressed. But if you like chocolate, you'll be disappointed because you won't. It doesn't seem to taste like chocolate. The chocolate taste completely disappears. And it's like you're just um, having alcohol. You can't really taste the chocolate. You can just taste the Baileys, really. So, I'm going to look at what Baileys actually is. Yeah, it's a, it claims it's the um, an Irish whiskey. And it's apparently flavoured with cream, cocoa and Irish whiskey. So, what are the differences between Irish whiskey and American whiskey? I haven't got a clue, but there you go. Now I'm going to have another one. Same again. And after two of these, I'll probably be totally drunk and fall over. I've no idea, but I think I should have put a percentage on here if it's, um... I don't know, I'm not an expert on these things. I know that, um... Bottles of... Alcoholic drinks, they have to put on the percentage. And I'm not sure what that percentage is. Um, I've just had a quick look on the internet. It claims it's about 15, about 17 percent traditionally. So if you bought the real drink, it's 17 percent alcohol. If you bought the real drink, okay. I've never seen. This before this year, I've never seen um, personally one which had they lived the cure in it. Does it taste good? Truthfully, yes. I'm um, honestly surprised. It tastes very good. I wouldn't have expected that from a biscuit. I've seen the cures used in chocolates. As I said, where they have now it tastes of chocolate and inside it's it's all the sticky li um, liquid. I think the first time now, in the world they stated we take our signature biscuits and carefully settle each one into smooth chocolate with the taste and of Bailey's original Irish cream. Now what I don't know is what they mean by the taste of. Because does that mean they've tried to, that this is completely unalcoholic, it's got nothing alcoholic in it at all, and they've somehow managed to simulate the taste? Does it mean it actually has some Bailey's in it, or most of the Bailey's ingredients in it? I'm afraid... I honestly don't know. Anyway, guys,
Bailey's flavours, and I'm probably saying this wrongly because it's German, I believe. Choco Leibniz. That's probably pronounced wrong, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.